So, what's up, everybody? Tony B Reviews. I'm here with my man, Andre, doing our first interview together. So, Andre's got a new EP coming out. He's got the first single, 90210, drops on the 17th, right, of February. Yes, sir. Look at Dre now, finally famous. Sun shining on all of my diamonds. Slick rhyming got me famous in due time. Rolls Royce with celebrities in the hills. Alice tripping all over her new bills. And then the full EP will drop on the 24th of February this month. It should, uh, there was like conflicts with DistroKid, so I'm dropping it March 3rd. Um, okay. I tried, tried dropping it the week after, but uh, a bunch of shit was happening, so I had to drop it on the 3rd. Okay, so full EP, March 3rd, but the first single on the 17th. Yes, sir. And my man blessed me with the opportunity to be able to listen to it early. Um, mm -hmm. Was that all of it, or is that? Or yeah, that was all things? of it. Okay, yeah, man, that yeah. is... It's really good. I'm really excited for you. The bars are there. The production is really cool. And I'm excited. So I've got a few questions for you about it. First off, I just wanted to see, is there a specific artist or a specific album that inspired you to pursue making your own music? So in terms of like actual bars, uh, Jay-Z inspires me a lot just because like, um just knowing a lot of the shit that he does is freestyled but the specific album that really inspires like my musical um output is four four is 444 of course i think that album is a masterpiece by jay-z um marcy me is one of the best songs i've heard by jay-z um and i know that's a hot take because he's got a, a sh um, amazing catalog I just think Marcy Me is um is just beautiful inside and out. But in terms of production, anything by the Alchemist. Like just the simplicity. And um I try to emulate his style a lot, but it's just knowing how simple a lot of the production could be and how amazing it can come out. Um, I think that's what really helped me uh create the project because it's just like you can as a producer you can sit there and you can overthink like damn what if i take out the snare roll what if these hi-hats go lower but if you, you look at like alchemist's production a lot of it is just sample drums and just an amazing loop chopped up and that's it and it's honestly simple makes it like more complex if that makes sense no, it, that definitely does make sense. And I actually, that's one of the things that I really enjoyed about listening to this new EP of yours is how mm -hmm. simple it is. And I actually can see the, the Alchemist inspired beats. But what I was, what I was thinking while listening to the, I've listened a few times, like I can't stop listening to it. It's so good. What mm -hmm. I was thinking was, I actually feel a little bit of a NOS influence as far as the lyricism goes. At least that's just what I, to me, I was like, oh, that's kind of similar. Um, yeah, I'm, like, Illmatic, honestly, it's, it's on, like, in my opinion, the two most influential projects that I really tie with is from a lot of New York's boom bap scene had to be, I would say, The Blueprint by Jay-Z and Illmatic by Nas. Like, just in terms of the production as well as the flow just because like Illmatic, you, everybody's heard Illmatic. It, it is monumental in terms of like how it shaped music and how great an intro could be. Cause that was first, like that was Nas's first project, um, first album. And I wanted to set my standards to that with this EP. Cause I want people to know, oh shit, this kid is, spitting and it's just bars like nothing re repetitive nothing of like the the trap scene where it's like repetitive melodies not it's just bars and you're going to take away a bunch of bars from this project yeah man it really shows and i'm really excited for you bro if i had to describe this album or this ep to someone that had never listened to you before i would say it is as if 
there's like a Nas or a Jay-Z type of lyricism over an alchemist boom bap type beat. So that definitely makes sense. Um, yeah, no, my my next long. question, this kind of leads into it, is hmm. I believe this is your first project ever that is fully written, produced, and performed by just yourself. Is that right? Yes, sir. So what inspired you to do it by yourself this time? Because I'm a huge fan of your 2021 EP, Purple. I love that project, mm -hmm. too. This one definitely is a step up, in my opinion. And you did it all by yourself. So I'm wondering what inspired you to do it like that? Um, Because honestly, just bone and dry, it's a lot cheaper to do it by yourself. I'm not going to lie. And I am a, I'm a huge nitpick when it comes to my music. Like... If I, because this project, it took over a year to make just because I would listen, I would listen to it over and over again. And if I'm like, damn, I don't like this part, I need to scrap this whole thing and I need to redo it. Just yeah. because like, I, let's say my vocals are not on a beat in a specific way, then I'm like, I, I, I can't. And having other people, because usually I'm doing it through Twitter, like, hey, I have this track. Can you help me mix it? Or hey, I have I have these bars that I have. Is there a way that you can make a production? And just waiting on somebody else to do it, it's just like I can't do that. I want full control over what the masterpiece could be. And I feel like oh, if I don't like it a specific way, I can just change. I can open up my laptop and I can just change it myself. Yeah. I love it, bro. All the best artists in history, they're all perfectionists to some extent. So I think it shows this, this EP is really polished of yours. Um, one of the things I noticed, obviously, when you sent me over uh, the link on SoundCloud is the cover art of that. Is that going to be the cover art of the EP as well? Yeah. Okay. So it's super Muhammad Ali influence too. So mm -hmm. the cover art is a really cool picture of him there's a muhammad ali sample and not even just that just the energy that you bring on this ep mm. it feels like it was influenced by muhammad ali was it in any way and if so how um so a lot of it like the muhammad ali sample i loved a lot just because um like muhammad ali is the, one of the greatest shit talkers of all time and it's true i <laughs> like i listen to um, a lot of his inter like his interviews and stuff, and it's crazy on how he can shit talk, but he can beat your ass at the same time. Um, but a lot of what really ties this record is because um, the picture is Mike is a Mike Tyson picture, and that's him after biting off the dude's ear when he was fighting him. Yeah. So I I'm really inspired by both Tyson and Ali just because of their statures as people and like you can walk into the room and you can feel like damn I don't want to fuck with them I want my music to kind of be like that where you play it in the background and it's like damn that's that dude that's that guy right there and I want it to be very symbolic in that nature and I want somebody like anybody of all ages to listen to it and know that it's me I don't want to be kind of what's the term uh put in a specific category in a specific group where it's all just boom back or it's all just trap i want people to be like okay this is his specific style type of thing yeah and with tyson they have their own specific style of fighting and when you see a tyson fight you know like damn that's Tyson. Or when you see Ali and how fast he is, it's like, damn, that's Ali. Like, I want that type of energy when it comes to my music. I want to just be very individualized and very um, me, if that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. And I didn't realize that was a picture of Tyson. I just assumed it was Ali because of the sample that I heard. But mm -hmm. that makes it even better because you kind of are blending the two styles of definitely the two best fighters of all time. Um, that yeah. was Holyfield. Was it Holyfield that he bit his ear off? No. I, I can't remember. Um, I think so. I'm not 100% sure. Um, cause I saw like the act, like I saw like the clip of the fight. Um, and 
fun fact. So I got that picture off of TikTok. I was just scrolling because I had a different cover art for the EP. It was more of like the AI, the AI generated just because I like how convoluted it looks with the AI generation cover arts. But um, I was just scrolling through TikTok and I saw that picture. I'm like, damn, that would be a crazy ass cover. And so I just saved it and I <laughs> made it a cover art. TikTok's clutch, bro. <laughs> okay so i'll just hit you with two last questions we'll keep this short um what was the hardest part in the making of this ep honestly just overcoming a lot of imposter syndrome and like listening to your stuff and it's like is it that good are people actually gonna enjoy it and just coming to the understanding that you gotta make music for yourself it's gotta be a very selfish aspect like I like this and I know this is good. So trying to convince yourself that other people are going to like it is honestly one of the most difficult aspects because it's hard to kind of convince yourself that your music is great because you listen to a lot of shit on Spotify and a lot of shit on the radio. And it's like, damn, why doesn't it sound like that? Why does mine sound like this specific thing? So I think that's just the biggest obstacle is just knowing, oh, this is great and other people are going to appreciate how great it is in comparison to, let's say like Nas or Tyler Crater, like you listen to their music and you know it's great, but, and then you look at yours, it's like, damn, like mine doesn't sound like that. So I, that's just like the most difficult aspects of it. Just getting over your own oh, I'm shit type of thing. So how did you satisfy yourself enough to be like, okay, I'm going to put this out? Um, Kind of just showing it to a bunch of different people. Like, hey, I like, like, this is what I made. Just give me the, like, the hardest critiques. Just tell me if this is ass or if this is, if this is good. And if somebody yeah. says, nah, you need to tweak this and that, then I... Like I brush it off and I go and I tweak it instead of like taking it personal. I think that's the one thing that people need to figure out. It's it's better that somebody hearing somebody criticize you rather than not saying anything at all. Yeah, I 100% agree. Um, okay, and then my last question for you. Mm. Give us a track that you've got in your rotation right now. What have you been listening to on repeat? I would say Pots and Pans by Boldy James. That that track instrumentally, it's it's insane just because of how different it is. Um and like it's kind it gives like a posse cut type of vibe, but it's it's just insane and how simple like the sample as well as like, like the underlying 808 and the bass, just making it just an earworm type of thing. Cool. Well, thanks for doing this, bro. Um, give us, where can the people find you? For anybody watching this video, where can they support you? What can they do? Twitter, TikTok, what do you have? Uh, Instagram, it's most dope Andre with an underscore. And then TikTok, um, TikTok it's also uh, Andre the Rapper. Uh, you can find a lot of my beats. I post a lot of uh, beats on there. Um, later this week, I'm going to be posting a lot of snippets of the track. You can find me on there as well. But if you want to see me shit post, uh, go on my Twitter, um, <laughs> most way, and you'll be able to see all of my um, hot rap takes as well as a lot of the snippets that are coming out of the CP. Cool. Is there anything else that you want to let us know? Um, Just if you're going to listen to the EP, just be aware it's going to be different. It's not going to be something that you're used to, um, but it's not going to be death grips, death grippy. It's not going to be like, you're going to hear a bunch of sounds like washing machine music. It's more of like, you're, it's going to be more refreshing take of what rap music is right now. I agree. In my opinion, it's like a perfect balance of so many different things coming together and there's no filler on the EP. That's what I love about it. Every single bar, every single part of the production, 
every single track on the EP, it's all needed. I think it's all super necessary and it's all really good. So I'm excited and I hope that a lot of people are going to enjoy it as much as I have. And I'm excited for when it officially drops on Spotify and is it going to drop on Apple music too? Yeah. So it's going to be on Spotify, Apple, um, and I'm gonna post like visualizers on YouTube and SoundCloud for the people that, um, for the people that want free music because I want my music to be accessible to everybody. Um, so just, if you're going to follow me on Twitter, just keep an eye out. I'm going to be posting all the links on there as well. And yeah, uh, again, thank you so much for having me uh, as your first guest. And this was honestly a blast, man. Yeah, man, it was super fun. Thanks for hopping on with me. And we're all waiting for the new EP to drop. So thanks again. And I guess we'll have to do this again sometime soon, hopefully. Yes, sir. Just, let, just hit me up and I'm, I will be free whenever.